Hey, you guys. I'm returning. I don't know. I don't think the video I just did. Uh, I don't think it took. Anyway, there was just a car accident. Literally, when I started talking, there was an accident right near me. And, um, yeah, I could have been in that accident. But I don't know why God let me witness that. I don't know why it was right next to me. I don't know. I have no idea. I don't know. Um, I'm going to have to ask Spirit about that later. I don't know. Um, but whenever I leave the house, I always pray. I get on my knees. I, I salute the East because I believe that my ancestors and my angels come out of the East. And uh, I always bow down before the Most High on my knee every day before I walk outside. And I ask for protection. I ask them to keep me safe. Maybe spirit is telling me that my prayer kept me safe. I don't know. Anyway, uh, I'm not shook up. I'm just concerned about the lady that was uh, the, the sister that got hit. Her car was totaled. And she got up and moved around. Kind of like the same thing I just went through when I was in a car accident um, a year ago on April 12th. And... Um, Yeah, I didn't even see who, I didn't even see how it happened. All I saw was that they collided. I don't know who ran the light. I don't know anything. Um, but anyway, I've already prayed and I asked Spirit to be with them. I asked the ancestors to be with them. I asked my angels to be with them. So, and I gave her my water. So I've done what I can. Wow. I don't know what that was about. I think that that's basically saying we fight not against flesh and blood, but principalities and powers of wickedness in high places. So I'm just going to pray again, and I'm going to pray for us all today. Blessed Heavenly Father, Mother, Master, angels and guides, those of the love and the light, those in the divine order and will of God, I thank you for this day. I thank you for protection. I thank you for your mercy. I thank you that this accident did not cause a fatality I just saw. I'm asking you to bring protection, provision, guidance for all those that watch this video, all of my supporters, and all those who have cho chosen around the globe from all walks of life, all cultures, all backgrounds, male and female. Please give us the strength and the wisdom that we need in order to survive these trying times in order to overcome the wickedness that is in high places, the evil which you've created that we cannot see. Bless us, strengthen us, give us wisdom and power over the evil, over the enemy, within ourselves and outside of ourselves. Please continue to show us the path of righteousness and your will for our life until we return to you. Glory be to your name forevermore, honor, power, and glory and to your son, an acknowledgement of the Cosmic Mother, who is in the manifestation of all things feminine. We thank you, Father, for the divine masculine man. We ask you to bless and strengthen them as well. Continue to give them the endurance they need in order to carry the weight of those men that choose not to be divine men and do not want to submit to the will of God. Please strengthen them, keep them encouraged, and let the women around them love and support them and acknowledge and appreciate their sacrifices. Let them be filled and endowed with power, with a royal character, and with an unapologetic, stern power, moved by gentleness of heart and harshness, if necessary, to keep things in order. Lead them by your spirit of wisdom and efficacy. In your holy name I pray and I thank you for what you've already done, what you're doing and what you will do in the future. Amen and I say. Okay, I'm really hot family. I don't know if you guys know it, but I'm in a very hot part of the United States. I'm not gonna say specifically where I am because I'm not uh, too open to letting every know, everyone know where I am. Uh, moving, you know, I plan on moving around a lot 
for whatever I have left of my life because this life is a journey, not a destination. And so we have to understand that as time passes by, days, weeks, and months go by, this is, this is life. It's not a dress rehearsal, it's real. And whatever we aspire to do, we have to ask for the strength, discipline, and tenacity to do the things that we desire because this is not a dress rehearsal, it's real life. And you are the only one that can fulfill your life. You are the only one that can protect your life. You are the only one that can listen to the inner guidance of what spirit is saying regarding where you should go, the path you should tread, the moves you should make, the things that are gonna fulfill your soul and make you feel accomplished. Only you know, no one else outside of you can tell you. This science that I study helps people to understand the self better so that when they get the intuitive messages, they can have clarity. And the guidance comes in much clearer than it would with someone that is not aware of this science. This science really allows the higher self and the lower self, which is this earthly self, and the consciousness of Christ that is our higher perfect self, which is the God self. It emerges the two, and it helps the communication to become much more clearer, which can ha have you move, doing quantum leaps over things. You move quicker and you fat, move faster because you're accessing Akashic knowledge, which is spirit-derived knowledge. It's not written. It's never been written, and it may never be written. It may be something only spirit gives to you. Something spirit may give to you may not be something that spirit gives to me. Oh, and so in saying that, uh, the scripture that I told you guys to look up was um, try the spirit by the spirit. What I'm going to do right now is I'm going to look that scripture up. Today's numbers add up to a nine, which uh, connects to the Divine Mother. And I just want to thank them again for keeping me safe because I was very close. I was very close to getting hit. You guys just witnessed, I don't know if, if the other video took, but I mean... If the other video did go into my file, then I'll, in my YouTube file, I will upload it. But yeah, that was a possibility of me getting in another accident. That shows that we fight not against flesh and blood, but powers of wickedness. And I was protected just now, and I'm so grateful. I'm so grateful, thank you. I truly am protected, and I'm so grateful. Bless the Godhead, Netter, ah, ah, glory to God in the highest. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Mother. Thank you, Master. Thank you, angels. Thank you, guys. Thank you, ancestors. Thank you. Watching over me. I got angels watching over me. I got angels watching over me. Watching my way through night and day. I got angels watching over me. Shedding away the hurt, the pain. Shout out to my sister, Lily. I love you, sis. I don't know if you guys ever heard of Trinity 5-7, but uh, it's a gr great Christian group. Really, really encouraging music. Yes, I listen to Christian music. I also listen to Krishna music. I also listen to 432, 532, and 88, 88 hertz. I listen to a lot of things. I listen to Rasta music. I listen to a lot. I even listen to um, classical music. You didn't know that family? I sure do. I'm a very eclectic being. I'm not like most, and I can't be put in a box. So, you know, I feel sorry for those that try to put me in one. It's not going to happen. I'm connected to all. I'm one with the all. And I don't separate myself from anything. Not even darkness. I just use the light to control the darkness in me. I'm nobody's saint, okay, family? Okay, I can't find this. You guys, my other phone, I'm looking for my other phone and I don't see it anywhere. That's really strange. I don't know, I don't think I left it there outside. I didn't take it out there with me. So, oh, it's behind me. <laughs> I'm just gonna go. I'm not frantic, but I'm just concerned about the lady. Just got uh, an accident, both of them. I'm still holding in the light. Angels go and keep them safe, please. <sighs> speedy healing, speedy, speedy healing, okay? Speedily move and speedily heal them both. Okay, so we're gonna look up. Today's number was number nine, so let's look up number nine right now with uh, Joanne. Joanne Sacred Scribes, angel number nine. 
So we're going to look up Joanne Sacred Scribes, angel number nine. There we go. All right. So the nine abs uh, absolutely accesses the energy of the Divine Mother, Aset, and that is connected to the Universal Mother, everything feminine. And uh, I'll read it. So it, it reads... Angel number nine. Number nine is the number of the universal love, eternity, faith, universal spiritual laws, karma, spiritual enlightenment, spiritual awakening, service to humanity, humanitarianism, uh, humanitarianism and the humanitarian, light working and light workers, leading by positive example, philanthropy, and the philanthropist, charity, self-sacrifice, selflessness, destiny, soul purpose and mission, generosity, a higher perspective, Romance, inner strength, public relations, responsibility, intuition, strength of character, learning to say no, creative ability, sensitivity, loyalty, generalist, discretion, brilliance, problem solving, inner wisdom, self love, freedom, popularity, high ideals, tolerance, humility, altruism, and benevolence, empathy, compassion, nonconformity, artistic genius, and expansive viewpoint, eccentricity, human communication, influence. Perfection, magnetism, understanding, forgiveness, compassion, and sympathy. The visionary, duty and calling, obligation, mysticism, optimism, and divine wisdom. Angel number nine is a sign of, from the angels that your life path and soul mission involve being a service to humanity through the use of natural skills and, and talents. Angel number nine suggests that you are nat a natural light worker and encourages you to look up ways to serve others in positive uplifting ways. Angel number nine may be indicating that it is time to end a phase situation or relationship that is no longer serving you in a positive way. Rest assured that all that new will enter your life that will enhance and benefit your life and lifestyle in many ways. Prepare yourself today as there is much work for you to do. Angel number nine encourages you to be compassionate, thoughtful, philanthropic and of service to others and humanity as a whole and lead others by positive example. So that is our guidance for the number of the day which adds up to nine. Okay, the eight of the month and the 15 adds up to the six and added to the four comes up to eight and one which add, you know, adds up to a nine. So that means that the mother, divine mother is with us, our set is with us. And all divine feminine ancestral spirits, uh, the feminine attributes of the Divine Mother are present with us to bless us. So thank you, Divine Mother, and thank you, daughters of the Divine Mother, ascended ma feminine masters of the Mother Spirit. Thank you for your love and support. Thank you for your presence. We bless your God. Okay, so now we're going to look up the scripture I was referring to. Try the Spirit by the Spirit, KJV. Okay, this is 1 John 4, chapter 4, verses 1 through 5. And it reads, I got this on Bible Gateway, King James Version 4, chapter 4, verse 1. Beloved, believe not every spirit. This is so for me right now, you guys don't even know. Believe not every every spirit, but try the spirits, whether they are of God, because many false prophets are gone out into the world. False prophets. Hereby know ye the spirit of God. Every spirit that confesses, confesses that Christ is come in the flesh is of God, and every spirit that confesses not that Christ is come in the flesh is not of God. And this is that spirit of Antichrist, whereof you have heard that it should, that it should come. And even now already it is in the world. We are of God, little children, and we have overcome them because greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. They are of the world, therefore speak they of the world, and the world hears them. So, family, if you're dealing with people that don't hear you, that don't get where you're coming from and don't get what you're saying, then that means that they are not resonant with you. I'm not going to go as far as to say that they are not in Christ. I'm going to say that because Christ is just the spirit of life and truth in the way. Okay, that's what I see Christ as, not just a person. You know, there's so much debate on who, 
Christ was, what his name was. I don't think that's the issue. I think it's his essence, his purpose, and what he is. He's a spirit of life. Call him Ra, call him Esau, call him Eru, call him Yahuwah, call him Yeshua, call him whatever you want to call him. The master is the master. He is the way, the truth, and the life. Okay? No one comes to the Father but by me, and that was Eru, the will. Christ is the Son. Okay? The Son is the will of God. The W I I the, the W I double L, which turns the W H E E L in your favor. Okay? It's getting in submission to the will of God so that God can turn things over in your favor. If you're in alignment with the divine will of the Creator, then what you want, you will have. If you abide in me and I abide in you, then you shall ask what you will, and it will be given. So this is a personal relationship that you will have with the spirit of life that is within you, which is the spirit of Christ. K-R-Y-S-T in the ancient Egyptian time, and today they call them C-H-R-S-T. Some try to paint them as Caucasian with blue eyes, whatever works for them. I'm not here to judge what they need to see Christ as. All I know is he's beyond a color, and he's beyond a race, and he's beyond a culture, okay? All that is is because he came out of the bowels of the father and the, and the, uh, the waters of the mother. That's the point. He was an energy and a consciousness and a spirit. God is a spirit. Those who worship spirit, worship God, worship in spirit and truth. And that's what it's all about. You want to get yourself free? Get more into the science of spirit. Don't worry about religion. Let people be where they are with religion. Religion was an indoctrination set up for people that became disenchanted and disattached to their true nature and their ancestors' truth after they got programmed and happy milled and boxed up and sold. This is a metaphor. This is a way to get them indoctrinated into some form of spirituality or religion so that they can be acclimated into a way that was godly, had a form of godliness, but it did not make them free as a soul, as an individual conscious creator of God, a little God. It didn't give them that freedom. Now you can be free. You don't have to be what people have spoken over your life. You haven't. You don't have to be what they think you should be. You don't have to live their truth. You don't have to live their declarations over your life. You don't have to live their affirmations. You can declare what you believe or what you know about yourself. You are a God. You can speak life over yourself. You can create a new reality. You can speak a new trajectory into your life. You can speak new blessings in your life. You can speak a new power in your life. You can speak a new energetic vibration in your life. You can do it. You have to speak it. Will you do that today? Will you speak life over yourself? Will you bless yourself? Faith cometh by hearing and hearing by the word of God. I'm telling you, you are God. Now you're healing me, hearing me tell you that. Now heal yourself. I am healed. Mind, body, and spirit. I am healed from the pain of the past. I am healed from those who abused me. I am he he healed from those who put me in a position of subterfuge. I am here healed from those who treated me with narcissistic programming because they felt insecure about themselves and they wanted to hurt me because they felt hurting me would make them feel better about themselves. I'm healed and I forgive them and I release them back to the divine and I send them love and light. And I place them on the altar of the divine because their problem is not my problem. I have to work out my own salvation with fear and trembling, and that's what you have to do. We are not responsible for anyone's alchemy or anyone else's spiritual evolution but our own. The soul journey and the soul path is with I and I self. The I and I self. Spiritual evolutionary levels of frequencies. The all seeing I. The third I. As Ralph Smart said, the first eye, the inner eye is the true eye. These eyes will deceive you every time. You can use them, but don't believe that this is the source. These are not the source. This gives you an image, like an x-ray of what might be there, but it doesn't tell you everything that's going on. You want to go into the hidden, you have to go into the third eye. You want to find out what's the hidden knowledge. Bless you, mother. Her spirit is here. I set number nine. We have to go into the universe, start with the micro-universe. 
that self and then go out into the macro universe connect to the net there understand the powers of the planets understand which faculty rules the consciousness and how we manifest according to the ancient Egyptian spiritual science of Kemet understand each planet that connects to each one of your chakras understand the colors that help you to connect to the energies of each one of the Netaru understand the colors that coincide with the planet the Netar, the faculty, the energy and the color and the day It's been synonymously used with some European tr traditions of, or, of worshiping Orisha. I speak about Yoruba and I know some of you that are full European followers and practitioners get offended. I'm just giving reverence to what it is. I have my connection. I had a Babalawo that was properly uh, sent through the, the uh, processes of becoming a high priest. They told me over Kala watches over me. I've also been told that Ganesha from the Indian pantheon protects me, removes obstacles out of my way. I have angels and guides, and why do I have them? Because I believe in spirit. No, I cannot see them. Blessed is he who believes yet has not seen. According to your faith, according to what you believe, is how it will come to you. According to your faith being unto you, what do you believe? Your belief is what will determine what is manifested in your life. If you tell everyone else you believe a thing, but no one sees the manifestations of it, they're going to know that what you believe or what you say, it's not true. Because what follows the master manifester is the manifested thing or the condition or the reality in this physical earth realm. That's how you know someone is truly connected to the divine. If they say they want something, doesn't matter about the time frame. If they say they want something and they see it through to the fruition, then you know that that is a full capacity master manifester. If you see it happening in processional portions, how the seasons move with the equinoxes and with the solstices, and then they stop at a point, that means there was an element of leftover unbelief that it was still in the conscious, subconscious mind. Do you believe you are God? Do you believe you are a goddess? Do, be, do you believe that you are a co-creator with spirit? Do you believe that the hands that created you and the mind that created you is all-powerful, all-knowing, omnipresent, omniscient, and omnipotent? Do you believe that creator lives within you? If you believe that, you can start declaring what you believe over yourself. Even if that little dice doubt is sitting there in the back of your subconscious mind. Oh no, you're not this or that. They told you that. Start telling that voice, no. No. Uh-uh. Over. It's over. You're done. No more will I believe your lies. No more will I let you whisper in my ear. No more will I let you tell me that I'm less than a God. No more will I let you tell me that I'm less than beloved of the Most High. No more. No more. And any person, thing, or entity around you telling you that you are less than a God, get away and run like hell. Get away and run like hell and never go back. Never go back. Because that's the spirit of the Antichrist. You heard it in the scripture. So that's what I want to leave with you today, okay? Look up that scripture I just gave you, which was John 4, verses 1 through 5. Okay? The way that you try the spirit by the spirit is to become completely aligned with your higher self, your Ka, your Christ itself, your higher self, your God self. How do you do that? You get, away, you get rid of all the mundane, worldly things. You get away from the worldly desires. You get away from the people that you used to roll with and do those things. You get away from everybody. Are you ready to separate and get away from everybody? Is nature good enough? Look at this beautiful tree see that beautiful tree? I don't know where most of you are. Some of you are in a place where there's a lot of, others of you are not. But they have parks. Go wherever you can connect with nature. Nature has a way of creating a frequency where the divine can get the messages to you. Divine can get the messages to you. 
in a system that is unseen. It has to do with energy and calibration of vibration. You got to have some faith. You got to believe. You got to know. You got to work in this world you can't see. Do you believe? Can you work? Can you work in the world you can't see? Can you do it? That's spirit, baby. That's the spiritual world. So are you spiritual? Or are you religious? Are you going to be allowed, allow somebody else to tie your hands back, to tie you back? Because that's what it means. So what are you, religious in bondage? Or are you a spirit created by the one spirit? Who is the essence of all truth, all life, all beneficence, all good, all blessings, and all beauty, and all power. What are you? Who are you? How are you made? Why are you here? What are you doing? What are you going to do? This is Sister Toffee, founder of the Comedic Science Channel. The Nets are ruining you. The power of God's nature within your spirit. I will speak with you at divine time. Be well, be safe, be divine, and be aligned with the God spirit that is within you, that you already are. I love you. Peace, love, and light.